Can we really avoid power struggles, especially when we're homeschooling? Mm, I don't know. Coming up next. Hi again, and welcome back to the Homeschooling Mindset. My name is Maritza, and I'm so happy you're here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, put your comments down below. Let me know how you're doing and how homeschooling is going for you, and ring the bell to get notifications. Let's do it. Can you avoid having power struggles, especially when you're homeschooling? And when your child is not being cooperative, when your child doesn't want to do any worksheets, they don't want to read, they don't want to do anything, can you avoid power struggles? The, the truth is that to expect that you won't have any struggles or any disagreements, uh, that's just not realistic. This is the boring. I do have to do this. We are human beings. Our children are human beings. We're always going to have disagreements. We're always going to bump heads. And that's the reality. But what can we do when we face a power struggle? One of the best things that you can do with your child is connect. So number one is to connect. You need to form a connection. A dialogue needs to happen. Communicate what's going on. Your child may be frustrated. Your child may be stressed or he or she is just having a, an off day. We all have them. So get to the root of why there is a struggle. Where is it coming from? How does your child feel? We all have bad days. We all have good days. And it is our job and our responsibility as parents to find out what's going on. Number two, listen to what your child tells you. Listen attentively. What are they saying? What are they not saying through their language, through their body language? There may be frustration with a certain topic. They may feel incompetent. They may feel uncomfortable. They may feel stressed to do a certain thing. Or start by just engaging instead of going straight to the work and straight to the let's get, you know, lesson number 36 completed. Um, how about you just start by engaging in a creative activity? You can start a creative activity. You can begin drawing with art or something like what we do in our home whenever I see that there's a little bit of a struggle with getting my son to do a worksheet or something like that. Um, is I start with art. We are actually implementing something called the art of the ancients. And it's a lot of Egyptian art, cave art. So we go outside and we color murals with these pastel colors and watercolors and all these things that um, actually are very engaging. They actually like it very much. They get their hands dirty. We get to go outside, breathe in some fresh air. Number three, you cannot avoid power struggles, but what you can do is provide options. Options are solutions. That's how I see it. When you provide options and you let your kids decide, you're actually feeding into their need for autonomy. A child needs to feel like they have a say in their learning experience. They have, they need to feel like they have a say in their life, in what they get to do and what they don't get to do. And at, in this, and at the same time, you are actually empowering your child to make decisions. The best way to teach a child to make decisions is to create an environment where they have options and they can make decisions. So options, options are solutions. What options are you providing for your child today? Let me know in the comments below. What are good options um, when you're having a struggle? We, in my home, we actually bought um, some books on kitchen science where we get to cook, we get to implement some recipes or just use ingredients in the in that are found in our kitchen pantry and we just engage in science experiments or it's just sciencey stuff there are so many options that we can provide our children that can result in amazing solutions and it can actually de-escalate any kind of struggle i hope this was helpful 
Put your comments down below. Uh, share with me what options have you provided to your child. And maybe we can all be able to implement those options. Maybe things that I haven't even thought of. That is why this homeschooling mindset channel is here. So that we can all help each other as we raise our little arrows. We are legacy builders. And as legacy builders, we must come together and help each other out here. So. Thank you so much for listening, for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next video.